Hey guys, so these are the notes for um, still multi-step equations, but now we, we're going to get some special cases. Special cases meaning um, no solution, right? Uh, meaning there's no numbers that will solve this, or infinitely many solutions, which is aka, you can just call that I and S. Yesterday I talked about, um, I called this um, when there was any number could be an answer. It can also be called all real numbers, A, R, N. So infinitely many solutions or all real numbers are kind of interchangeable. Anyhow, I'm still following the DCMAM order for um, steps for solving. These right here are just practice. Um, so real quick, let me go through. I distribute first. Draw that line in. Negative 8 times 2. Negative 16x. Negative 8 times one is plus eight equals 36. I'm going to subtract eight on both sides and that will give me that negative 16x equals 28 and I'll divide by negative 16 and I'll get a fraction answer. I will reduce that. I can only divide by four. 28 divided by four is seven. Um, 16 divided by four is four. So I'm going to do seven fourths. Here, um, no distributing, no combined like terms. I can move, right, whoops, minus 2x. I can, I'm on the end step, move the variables to the same size. So if I subtract 2x on both sides, 5 minus 2 is 3, 3x. And then um, bring down the plus 2. This 2x is canceled. Bring down the 14. My next step is the a, which is adding or subtracting. In this case, I will subtract 2 to get um, 3x by itself. And 3x equals 14 minus 2 is 12. And then the last step is 2. I'm going to rewrite that. Um, 3x equals 12. My last step is 2 divide, right? I multiply or divide my last step. In order to get x by itself, I need to divide by 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So x equals 4. Um, again, I'm just following the, the DCMAM steps. Next one is negative 4 times distribute first, right? Again, really first you should draw that line down from the equal sign if it helps you um, distribute. You can definitely do that. Negative 4 r, negative 4 times 6 is minus 24 equals, bring down the 4. Um, move, the variables to both, move the variables to the same side. Um, there's only variables on the left, so skip that step. Next step is adding or subtracting. Actually, I have to add 24 on this one. And that'll zero out. Bring down negative 4r, and 4 plus 24 is 28. And I have one more step here. It's to divide by negative 4. Um, again, I'm just still following those steps, but maybe as you get better, you don't need to refer back to them as much. So negative 4 cancels out. 28 divided by negative 4 is negative 7. There's that answer. And then um, we get one more out of the way here. Practice step still. Um, no distributing, no combining like terms that have to happen, but I want to move my variables to the same side. Normally I'll move the lesser variable, so negative 3 is less than 1. So I'm going to move the negative 3c by adding 3c. Get rid of it, bring down the negative 12 equals, um, bring down the negative 5, and then 1c plus 3c is 4c. Next step is to add 5 to both sides. Negative 12 plus 5 is negative 7. Um, this 5, negative 5 will zero out. Bring down the 4c. Let me just copy this down. Negative 7 equals 4c. And um, my last step here is to divide 5 by 4. So negative 7 fourths is my answer. And uh, actually the same answer as the first one that's kind of random um, all good so that was just review so these next few problems are, are definitely going to be special cases you guys so um, let me just show a problem or two before we even fill in these, these blanks here um, I still follow the DCMAM uh, steps distribute or combine like terms on the left and on the right. On the left, there's no distributing or like terms on the right. I definitely have some distributing to do. 2 times 5 is 10, so 10x. 2 times 6 is 12. Bring down the 10x plus 12 here. One thing you might notice is the left and right side are identical. 
If the left and right side are, are identical, um, that may give this away, but either way, if you go to the next step and you move the variables together, you're going to subtract 10x. That's going to make the variables all zero out. And I'm going to have 12 left on the left side, and 12 is also left on the right side, so I'm left with 12 equals 12. So again, um, up at the top, it, the essential question says, if I show that real quick, it says, um, how do you get a solution when variables zero out? Right, so um, that's kind of talking about this right here. The variables all zeroed out, and here's how you get your solution, right? If, if the final answer here, the final statement is true, um, you say all real numbers or infinitely many solutions, um, which we'll either call ARN or IMS. So if it's true, we're going to answer all real numbers. If it's false, we're going to answer no solution. So 12 equals 12, that's definitely true. You don't have to write down true. You definitely have to answer, though, that this is an all real numbers or infinitely many solutions um, answer. Um, IMS, you can also call it all real numbers, ARN. So either of these um, answers will be acceptable. If it's Again, if it's a true statement, all the, all the variables here on be a true statement, say all the numbers are infinitely many solutions. And remember, that just means you could plug in any number for x, and both sides of the equation will always stay equal. You can plug in 0, you can plug in 8, you can plug in 1,000, you can plug in negative 50. Any number you plug in for x on both sides will, won't matter. It'll always stay equal, so you have infinitely many solutions. Um, so moving right along here, I'm going to draw my line. Distribute first here, 2 times x, 2 times 7. Um, on this side, I do have some like terms, negative 5 plus 3, that's a negative 2, so I have 2x, bring that down. Again, negative 5 plus 3 is minus 2. And then I'm ready to now move my variables to the same side, so I'm going to subtract 2x. Um, so the 2x zeroes out, bring down a negative 2, and would you look at that, the x is 0 out again, and I have negative 2x equals 14. And I hope everybody knows that negative 2 definitely does not equal 14. This is aka a false statement. You don't have to write false, but you do have to write the solution if you come to a, an equation and all the variables zero out. Um, and the final statement is false, then you answer no solution, which is aka this little symbol, right? If you don't want to write no solution, you can do that. You can just put ns for no solution, right? Any of these. Is it okay? And so we can back up a little bit now and just fill this in. So um, sometimes when we solve equations, we will not get one specific answer. If we're left with a, let's go with a true statement in this blank. If we're left with a true statement, then we have infinitely many solutions, right? We have either infinitely many solutions or all real numbers. I, I think either of those is acceptable in that instance where you have a true statement. Um, and then the opposite, right? If we're left with a, a false statement, and you can refer back to these number, true statement is something like 12 equals 12, that's true, or a false statement is something like negative 2 equals 14, and you can see what we answered, you know what these um, blanks are going to get filled in with, so um, left with a false statement, then we have no solution. Okay, so let's keep going. Let me get through these. Um, on this one, let's draw that line. Let's see, we do need to distribute here 3 times 4. That's 12b, and 3 times 2, that's going to be a minus 6. On this side, I have negative 6 plus 12b. There's no distributing and no like terms, but it's definitely noticing, you know, the two sides look very similar, if not identical. I'm ready to move my variables to the same side. Opposite of positive 12b is a negative 12b, so we're going to subtract that. And then again, my, my variables zero out on both sides, and I am left here with a negative 6 equals negative 6. So at this point, you would you would want to just ask yourself, does, neg does negative 6 equal negative 6, right? Well, yeah, it does. So you're going to answer all real numbers or infinitely many solutions. Either one is fine. Either one is basically saying, right, that you can use any number in here for b, and both sides will stay equal. Um, this one right here, the 2x plus 7, I'm just going to bring it down because I can see that on this side I am going to have to distribute. So 
Again, there's nothing to do on the left, but on the right, I have to distribute the negative 1. Remember, the negative sign is like a negative 1, so negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 times negative 2 is plus 2, so plus 2x. Um, my next step is going to be, once I get rid of all the distributing, combining like terms separately on the left and right, my next step is move the variables to the same side. So we've got to do the opposite of a plus 2x, minus 2x. And once again, the variables all zero out, and I'm left with 7 on the left side and negative 3 on the right side. And then again, you ask yourself, does 7 equal negative 3? That's a no, guys. That is false. That is no solution. If you, again, if you just like little symbol, that's fine. You can, you can just put that. It means no solution. Let's get these last two cranked out, and, and we'll call these note sets done. This note set. So, um, there's my separation of left and right side. The left side has no work to do, but the right side does. So let's get that done. Distribute negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. A, negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9. And um, I'm ready to now move my variables to the same side. The opposite of a minus 6A is a plus 6a, and since most of these are zeroing out, I'm not really worrying about which variable I move. So um, again, all the variables zero out in this problem. I'm left with 3 on the left side and a 9 on the right side, and hopefully you're good with this. Does 3 equal 9? That's a no, right? That is false. So you're going to answer no solution on that one. Remember a false statement, you answer no solution. This next one, um, 4 minus e equals negative one basically times e minus four. So again, on the left side, no work to do yet. On the right side, you're distributing negative one. All that negative sign does is change the sign of the everything inside the parentheses. So the d will become a negative d when you distribute, and a negative four will become a plus four when you distribute. I'm um, ready to move my variables together. So the opposite of a minus d is a plus d. So we'll add that. As with all the problems in this little set, the variables are canceling out. Sorry about that. Um, anyhow, variables are canceling out. And so all the d's canceled out, and I have four left on this side equals, I have four left on this side. And one more time, just ask yourself, does four equal four? And of course, four equals four. So you're going to answer infinitely many solutions or all real numbers. Either way, right? You can say infinitely many solutions, abbreviate it, or you can say all real numbers, abbreviate that. Right? We don't want to write too much more than we need to. And and that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching, and I, I hope you will. Um, I hope this helps, and I, I hope you'll ask questions if you have any.